everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sierra and I'm a married mom of two small boys. And on this channel, I like to review things that are advertised to me through social media like Facebook, TikTok, or YouTube, or specific items that I see a lot of influencers promoting. But today, we've got something special. I actually had this company reach out to me to see if I would do one of my honest reviews on their product. I was more than happy to do this for them. However, I made it abundantly clear that that I only give reviews that are 100% honest or else what's the point? This is a company called Lava Craft Cocktail Company and they sent me two different flavors of their cocktail mixes. They are made with, with actual ingredients that you can pretty much see in the bottle. There's no high fructose corn syrup and they are pretty much ready to serve. You just mix them all up and it's supposed to be really easy. They claim to be a bartender in a bottle, which if anybody has been watching me for a while or knows me in real life, knows that this is right up my alley. I have the spicy jalapeno margarita mix as well as the lime and ginger beer Moscow Mule. What I'm most excited about for the Moscow Mule is it takes usually like lime juice and really expensive ginger beer. The ginger beers are really small. They're very high in sugar and I love a Moscow Mule but I don't want to go through that trouble every single time I want to make a cocktail. So I'm really hoping that these are living up to the hype. Lava Craft Cocktail Mixer motto is to raise the bar. See what they did there? Yeah, it's pretty funny. They exist to elevate the way people cocktail. Their main focus is the customer experience. That's why they use real ingredients and quality ingredients. Personally, I really like when companies use ingredients on the label that I can pronounce. If you, again, have watched any of my other videos, you know I have a hard time reading the word flour specifically. But if you look on the ingredients, you can really see that everything, a real whole ingredient, which I definitely approve of. The jalapeno, for example, is made with real jalapenos, key lime juice, agave nectar, and are lower calories than traditional margarita mixers, which again, I approve of. So this is only 70 calories and the Moscow Mule is only 60 calories. So we are going to taste test these today and see if they live up to all the hype. You can definitely see the whole ingredients floating around the bottle. And then can we talk about the packaging for a minute? They came in these really nice boxes and they were shipped so quickly. They told me on Sunday that they wanted to ship them to me and I got them on Tuesday. So I am living in the age of Amazon Prime, so I like fast shipping. It smells so good. So I'm going to just pour a little bit in here and you can definitely see the difference between it already with traditional mixes. Now I'm gonna try it without the tequila and then I'm gonna mix up a real margarita. Okay, I'm not just saying this because they sent it to me. I swear, this is so good. You get a little bit of that jalapeno, but it like sits more towards the back of your mouth. So it's not like overpowering. I would say the biggest flavor I'm tasting is the like lime. And a lot of times with the margarita mixes that I get from other places, they give me so much heartburn because of all the sugar. And this does not taste like sugar at all. So now let's mix up the margarita according to the directions. In a cocktail shaker, I don't have a cocktail shaker because I'm not a real adult. I have a Christmas cup. We're gonna mix four parts of the lava and one and a half parts of the tequila. So that five and a half parts is 100%. I think I can shot us. And I'm sure you can't see anything I'm doing because I'm a mess. I do not have a margarita glass either. It already has a cat hair in it. Pray for me. It works! Okay. Pour it over ice. And that is not a stingy margarita. She thick. All right, and give it a taste test. Delicious. Honestly, it is so delicious. And if you ever try this, I want you to comment down below if you think it's as good as I do. Mm. Okay, so good. Okay, so that's not all we have though. Now we are on to the Moscow Mule, which has been my favorite drink like this summer because it's so refreshing and so light, but I hate spending all the money on those little tiny ginger beer cans. Hey Alexa, how many calories are in a ginger beer? One can of ginger beer has 186 calories. So one can of ginger beer has 186 calories. This only has 60. I don't think calories are the only thing that is important, but I am trying to not drink a month's worth of calories in one sitting because we know I can do that. Four parts Moscow meal mix. Oh Lord, I have to do math again. Yes, counting to four is math. One part vodka or Sprite. One shot. 
splash of club soda, which I got the fancy club soda for this. But you could just get the club soda that can screw on and off so you can get a whole jug of it and it doesn't go to waste. But I know that I will be drinking more than one of these today. And because I'm such a professional and can obviously read, I cut up a lemon and I'm supposed to cut up a lime. So let's see if my restaurant skills can come in handy right now. Ooh, got some fizz. Okay, because this is not carbonated, I'm guessing you need the club soda to recreate the carbonation of that ginger beer. It's very, very good. The only thing I am missing is more of that carbonation. I do like the bite of a heavily carbonated ginger beer, but the flavor of this is delicious. Mm. Adding a little bit more club soda was perfect. I think this is so good. I definitely can see myself gravitating towards this product more than the ginger beer and the vodka for calories alone, but then flavor's really good. And my only like downsize is it's not as carbonated as that like ginger beer that you first snap open, but the flavor definitely makes up for the lack of carbonation. So now the only problem I have here is which one I'm gonna drink first. But I wanna thank Lava Cocktail Mixers for sending this to me. Yes, they did send it to me because they wanted my honest review, but no, they're not paying me. These are still all of my own um, thoughts and opinions on these products. As you can see, I really, really enjoyed them and I'm really excited to try some of their other cocktail mixes. They've got a skinny margarita that I'm really excited for. They've got like a, pl a, pl a, pl a plumbloma, a plumbloma. Why can't I talk? They also have Bloody Mary mix. Pl pa Paloma? Paloma. Paloma. And you can purchase these on Amazon or on their website, which is just drinklava.com. I do not have an affiliation code or anything like that. Again, I'm making no money off of this. I'm just gaining the knowledge of knowing that I got to try something for free that was as good as I hoped it was. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, I'd love it if you would subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and wash your hands. Bye.